My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I am viewing Christian Louboutin Louboutin Prince Air de Parfum. This is £265 for 90ml. The notes are Kistus, I'm probably mispronouncing that, Sandalwood and Tonka Bean. This is made in Spain. So I was unaware that Christian Louboutin had a fragrance range. I know he has a makeup range and obviously a shoe range and bags range, all of that. So I'm really curious as to see what the experience is going to be like from this. I went to Selfridges. The girl on the department was amazing. Very, very nice. Very attentive. Didn't rush me. So it's housed in this little red, iconic Louboutin red and a lovely lacquered box. And inside the lacquered box is probably the most perfume packaging I've ever seen. I mean, they're really going for it with the packaging. When you're bored of it, you can use it as a weapon. It's obviously a amber or oriental based fragrance. And I'm thinking with that brief, how would I work it? And heliotrope and vanilla, maybe ethyl maltol whipping through the base. Some naturals, darker naturals, sandwood, patchouli, vetiver. That's kind of the assimilation of it. But let's see. Feels like a brick. So this feels like expensive luxurious packaging. Do we have a bottles of Luby Prince? Are we engaged with a higher self? Let's get testing. I mean, it's not groundbreaking, uh, but it's very nice. I'll give it that straight away. Very well constructed perfumery. It reminds me of um, something which I think is good because when you're going for this sort of perfume you kind of want something which fits into that demographic of an amber based perfume absolutely icy super giving it that amber sort of woody facets to it to give it support and a backbone vanillin and then the backbone to support it again a robust white musk something on the lines of ethylene bracelet or galaxalide which just gives cleanness uh, to potentially what could be a more messy formulation. Vanilla-based fragrances or amber-based fragrances which don't utilise these clean white musks and smell messy. It just doesn't really work together. There's a thing which just doesn't really work. It's sort of spicy, vanilla-y, ambery, radiant, sweet, clean. It reminds me actually of a perfume de Mali style fragrance. So obviously it's uh, likeable. The spike the sort of the elevation through the fragrances with pink pepper not really citrus based you know it's quite surprising but the pink pepper gives that sort of bite and again aids in cleanness pink pepper and black pepper i have and pink pepper works more with sort of this type of formulation to give cleanness when used in conjunction with uh, the clean white musk it's got a softness to it and the softness is a nitro musk i'd say something like muscone the muscone like raw materials are really lovely i think muscone smells like the musk that humans normally have i don't know quite how to think about that but apparently a long time ago i was reading that and that was the literature i was reading but muscone and galaxlite and ethylene brasilite all of that work really beautifully together I, mean, I think it's very nice. It reminds me a lot of the construction of Perfume de Mali with the vanillin, kumarin, bit of ambroxin, Isu Super, all of that stuff to me feels like a Perfume de Mali light fragrance. And I think Perfume de Mali could quite easily release this as something. Yeah, I think the radiance is lovely. On to my final thoughts. I personally think you're buying this more for the packaging and for the prestige that comes with the brand, all of that stuff. I'd be curious who the perfumer was. I mean, it's very nice, it's sort of radiant. Not too radiant, but this will be long lasting because of the heavy raw materials in it, the Galaxlide, uh, vanillin, anything sort of powdery and which has a thicker viscosity tends to bind to the skin a lot more than things that are viscous and volatile. So this is gonna be long lasting, but the radiance isn't particularly, you know, for this price I want, long-lasting, radiant and likeable. I think when you go above £100, that's what you need. And the radiance is sort of like dying down. I'm surprised they didn't put something like the Kashmara molecules or other ambers, the Amber Max or something along those lines to 
help aid and that sort of give a much more robust formulation. I'm surprised lemon, uh, nutmeg, mandarin wasn't used in this as would have also been very good. Patchouli and vitivet give a sort of a flatter, they don't give radiance, they work at the base, darkness. It reminds me a little bit of my, of the first Santal Extreme I released, not the reformulation that I've just discontinued. The very first one, it reminds me quite a lot of this, but mine radiated more. So I'm going to go through my uh, final thoughts and my marks of you. Being an EU company, this is safe, legal, compliant, and the box was all compliant, all the rest of it. This is going to be long lasting, but it's going to dry down to a skin scent. If that's what you're after, that's what you're after. So I love the longevity, but not particularly the projection is in my opinion not out there for 265 pound fragrance do i like it i really like it i think it's very nice but the longevity projection is a little bit suffering for me and the dry down's beautiful it's nice and stable it's very good perfumery but i personally speaking i would love to see the projection a bit more monstrous for 265 pounds i don't know why as i said nutmeg uh, lemon mandarin bergamot orange all those citruses would have worked lovely in this depending which direction you want to go mandarin and lemon is a nutmeg i don't, I don't know why ginger would have been nice with this made it like a, it would have worked with the what they're trying to do so amber's in to sort of push the elevation out you know there's so much like uh, the linoleum molecules the lily of the valley raw materials that all of them could have changed this to be more the projection more interest it's quite simplistic and sort of stable but i imagine on some people it's going to be quite monstrous but for me it's sort of trailing off i think with this the packaging is heavy weighty and i think this i think they all had different different caps or different sort of things this is going to be for people who love the brand and love the way it's just kind of crazy it looks crazy expensive so i think part of this is the packaging but i don't review packaging it's not never really interests me but i think that's part of this brand is the packaging you know goes with the shoes and the bags kind of all the rest of it as i said in my opinion i think there's uh, things missing from it that i would love to see put in but that's me being technical i would have used this as a starting point to build onto so it feels a little bit simplistic a little bit unfinished and i would love to see more things put in to make it more interesting amp up the patchouli the vertifer is nice oh, there's so many so much direction you could go with this i think it's nice um i'm gonna mark it as seven out of ten projection isn't really there for me it's not radiating off my skin i'm having to go on quite close but i do like it i think it's a very nice ambery oriental scent one thing i wanted to ask is what does the fragrance community think about that the term oriental to describe this classification of perfumery is potentially an offensive term nowadays to me an oriental fragrance isn't always amber because they i was reading that they're trying to call it an amber fragrance but orientals aren't always amber so sometimes they don't contain amber sometimes they just contain florals and to me orientals are things exotic beautiful things but i always associate sort of oriental fragrances with sort of oud rose uh, jasmine uh, got in it all those things as well amber fragrances as i said aren't always uh, florals and floral floral fragrances aren't always floral fragrances they have other facets to it and to me oriental fragrances encapsulated all those sort of types of perfumery so i'm interested what you think about that and i'm also interested to if you do find it offensive what is the term that you would like for me i i don't particularly get offended by too many things um i'm too busy to be offended i'm just kind of whatever but i understand that as a society sometimes we need to move on if that term is offending people who originate from the area but it is what it is i'm very curious to what you think so i love that review Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.